I know this is a strange place to talk about the subject I'm going to talk about, but this is something that affects you anywhere, in any place. And what I want to talk to you about today is anger management. Yes. And why do you think they call it anger management? Because anger can be managed. And it can be managed over and over and over again. So, with that being said, let us talk about anger management. Well, when you're angry, you always the first person to know you're angry. And then other people find out that you're angry, either by your expression or the things you say. So what causes our anger? Well, what causes our anger is not as important is that we are angry because our anger is from within and not from without the things that are without are the things that causes us to be angry within and anger believe it or not is triggered by our thoughts our feelings are triggered by our thoughts our beliefs are triggered by our thoughts so the antidote to anger comes with thoughts. And with our thoughts comes our feelings and our actions. Because you can't do anything without a thought. You can't eat. You can't walk. You can't fix your tie. You can't throw a punch. You can't do anything without a thought. So with that being said, let's talk about how do we manage our anger. You manage your anger by first recognizing that you are angry and then decide how you're going to manage it. And the first thing that always comes to my mind when I'm angry is to calm down. Because whatever is on the outside is on the outside. And if I'm blinded by rage, then I can't see clearly of a positive solution or positive answer. Now, when I deal with a situation that makes me angry or that I think that gets me to decide to be angry, I first say to myself, do not make the situation worse. That's the first thing that always come to mind when I recognize that I am angry. Do not make the situation worse. Because granted, if you're angry, the situation is already worse. So why would I want to make it worse than what it is? Now, there's times when I have to come up with a solution because the, the situation is not changing itself. So I have to think to myself, how can I not make the situation worse? Sometimes I decide by not responding or responding in a calm manner or acting in a way where I'm careful about not making it worse or not acting in a way to make the situation worse. But whatever it is, I'm going through the managing process. And oftentimes, we learn how to react to anger in a bad way, in a negative way, in a destructive way. And we have to relearn to react differently. So with all that being said, if you learn something that is negative and is causing harm to yourself and others, you must relearn not to make the situation worse. With anger comes the opposite. The opposite of anger is happiness. 
And the only way I can get back to being happy is I have to first stop being angry or find a thought to stop me from being angry. And if I can't stop being angry, I can start thinking to calm down and pause from getting angrier. And negative thoughts make us angrier. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when you're angry and you start thinking about negative thoughts and you start getting angrier and then it leads you up to being destructive and uh, want to have violence or retaliate. But when you think about it, you just thinking about making the situation worse. Do we really want the situation worse when we're going to be the recipient of something worse? Yes, you're going to be the recipient of something worse if you make things worse. Is that what you really want? No. So with all that being said, you feel better when you turn things around and make things happier or make things calmer or restore things back to its normal state. And you feel better when that is achieved. Yes, sometimes anger snaps at us, catches by surprise. But if you snap out, you can always snap back. If something pisses you off, you can always pause and start thinking through and start thinking for a positive solution. Yes, there is what they call positive anger. Yes, you can be angry and still think positive. If you don't like a job, if you don't like people on your job, you deal with them until you can change things. Yes, nobody can tell you to like something. Nobody can tell you that, you know, you got to live with something forever. But there is positive anger that a lot of people don't talk about. They always talk about the negative anger. So with all that being said, is what you're going to do the next time you become angry? Are you going to take it and deal with a negative? Or are you going to do something and deal with it? positive. The power is yours as well as the choice because choice is power. Now you may be angry right now about something and you may have rage in your mind and I'm going to tell you this the way you're feeling is because of the way you're thinking. The way you're feeling is the way you're thinking. It doesn't matter if you have few options, as long as you have one good choice. One good choice can make all the difference in the world and turn things around. So if your options are limited, that's all right. Search for the one good choice, and there is always one good choice. And no matter what it is, even if that choice is to pause, even if that choice is to be quiet, even if that choice is to calm down first. Whatever it is that you come up with to not make the situation worse, it will be beneficial to you in the long run. Because I guarantee you when I tell you this, anger is gonna come again and again and again. But you can manage it again and again and again. You can manage your anger every time. I don't care what the circumstances is, what the situation is. You can manage your anger every time. And you can manage your negative anger with a positive thought. Try it. Try it the next time that it comes. It works for me. Sure. I get angry and I'm going to get angry again. But will I let my anger take me further negative and make the situation worse? No. No. I use what I learn. And I know that I don't want to go 
more on a negative side, I want to turn things around positive because I like being happy. I like being in control of my temper because there's no good reason to lose your temper even though people have reasons, but there's never a good reason to lose your temper.